Hello again guys, another tutorial today, uh, this time about Coinbase and about how to open an account and buy Bitcoins with Coinbase if you live inside the US. Now Coinbase is a US based company, if you live outside the US you currently cannot use Coinbase. Um, it's a startup that was founded in 2012 and already received around three, $31 million in venture capital funding. Pretty reliable guys, pretty uh, good service and let's jump straight through and see how you open up an account. So the first thing we're going to want to do is kind of sign up for, for Coinbase. So you click here on the right side and sign up. And you're going to enter an email address. I'm going to use just, um, uh, let's call it 99Bitcoins. This is my email address for this tutorial. And a password. Um, now again, whoever has access to this password will have access to your Bitcoins. And also, uh, since you're going to link Coinbase with your bank account, in some ways, he's going to have access to your bank account. So you want to keep this password uh, safe. You don't want to write it down on your computer anywhere. You don't want to use some general password like 1256 or anything like that. Uh, and kind of treat this like a, uh, another bank account in the security measures you would with your bank account. So now I'm going to create the account. And what Coinbase is going to do is going to send me a verification email, uh, which I need to click a link inside that email. So now I'm going to head up to my emails and see if I got that verification email okay and here it is and now I'm going to verify my email address by clicking this link and now I need to accept Coinbase's terms of uh, terms and I'm going to do this just by writing my name down here and clicking accept and I'm in Coinbase now uh, the first thing you want to do is buy bitcoins of course so you're going to go here to buy your first Bitcoin, but before you will be able to buy your Bitcoins, you need to do two things. First is verify your phone number and verify your bank account. Now verify your phone number, pretty straightforward. You just click on this, you go down here, you click on verify phone, and you just enter your phone number in a country you're at. Hopefully it's from the US, because if you're not from the US, you won't be able to use this. Now get a text message with a PIN code which you need to enter. So, so much for verifying your phone number. Now, if you want to verify a bank account, you have two options. The first option, um, first of all, I'm going to show you how it's, it, it, it's done. You go into this um, bank account uh, tab and click uh, Add Bank Account. Now, you need to choose the type of account you're going to add, enter the information here, the routing number, the account number, your full name, and click Next. Now, we're going to have two options to verify this bank account. First, we're going to be using an access code. Now, an access code is different than your PIN code. Don't get confused. So around 70% of the banks in the U.S. have something that's called an access code, uh, which allows Coinbase to verify that it is your bank account. How do you find out if, it's, uh, if your bank has one? You just write your bank's name and access code in Google and find out if they explain how to get it. For example, uh, Capital, One, Capital One access code, and you see if it has an access code or not. If you use this method, you'll get verified instantly. If you don't have an access code or you don't want to use an access code, what you do is you use the other option, which is basically where Coinbase deposits a small amount up to $1 into your account, and then you kind of verify what amount was deposited and they know it's your bank account. This takes around two days, up to two days, and it's a bit slower, so whichever method, method is fine with you, uh, you can choose. Again, Coinbase is a pretty reliable company up until now, so there's no need to be allowed with uh, entering your access code here. Once you have your bank account verified, you're going to want to add a credit card and explain why. Coinbase has something that's called an instant buy. Regular buys usually take up to four days. But Coinbase allows you to buy up to $100 instantly if you ed uh, enter a credit card as a backup. Now, this credit card usually won't be charged. It'll just uh, will be charged the normal ACH transfer, which is $0.15, and the normal uh, transaction fee for, Coin for Coinbase. If this fails, then they'll use the credit card as a backup. So you can just add a credit card here as a backup, and here are the terms of how um, what's going to be charged if they use the credit card. They usually won't use it. So you just agree to the terms, and then you can add the credit card. So once you've done uh, verifying your phone number and adding a bank account and adding credit card, a credit card, you can go to buy Bitcoin. And again, if you want this instantly, it's only up to $100. So uh, today's rate will be something like that, or 0 0.15, something like that. I'm guessing, yeah, of Bitcoin. And here you'll see the subtotal, the fees from Coinbase was 1% transaction fee, the bank fee, which is 15 cents, this is how much you need to pay. Uh, and if 
this account is currently invalidated, I'll click, uh, or I would have uh, clicked buy, I'll instantly get uh, the 0 0.15 Bitcoins sent into my Coinbase wallet. Now, Coinbase also, also uh, acts as an online wallet. Um, you can choose to leave your, your Bitcoins in there. My personal recommendation is never leave your Bitcoins on, in, the, in the hands of a third party. It's moving them into your own private wallet where it's on your computer or on a website like uh, Blockchain and Info that also kind of supplies a hybrid wallet, but it's up to you. Up until now, Coinbase has proven to be pretty reliable and pretty safe and there are no hacks done into their system. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I wish you the best of luck.